morning everybody and welcome back. Today we talk about, and as I always said, more important than the bow or the arrows, today we talk about these pretty ones. And of course, white arrow shafts are not new, you saw them before. Uh, the arrows I got from Martin Spurry from Switzerland, they are white and 32 inches. And now I got the Tokala Long White from Nijora.de. I leave the link in the description. They were so nice to provide us, and with us I mean my friend Peter Buchsbaumer in Vienna in Austria. He asked for them, because I asked for them. 32 inches we know, 33 inches we could expect, but what we get now is 36 inch long arrows. And that's incredible in white. Look at this. And this Tokala long white rose. These are now spine 400, spine 500, spine 600. Uh, they're all 33 inches, not 32, by the way. These ones you can have with 11.8 grain per inch, means you get a nice and decent weight out of it. And now here you see with a 100 grain tip, normal fletching and the Mnox from Wormel, I have, or, and we have these protector caps here. I am already at, uh, weight of 635 grain, which is nice and which is just a perfect weight for my Shonkoro, my new Shonkoro. I weighed them then because, you know, weight is one thing, checking is the other thing. They are plus minus uh, one or two grain, so they are really very close together in weight. I like this a lot. You can have them, of course, in any length you want. These are the spine 500. They are 9.2 grain per inch and they come out with 520 grain in this with these tips and with the uh, nooks. And we get the 600 spine, the weakest ones, and they still manage to get 460 grain of weight which is nice and decent. We have them Mnox and on again. So, and you still can, if you need them heavier, vary with longer, heavier insets and longer and heavier tips, of course, but you always check your FOC then, but head heavy is fine. This is, we are not Olympic archers, so it's fine. And you can have these arrows, let me see, Tokala Long is carbon plane, th no, it's carbon 3K. Has an ID in a inch in a diameter in inch 0 0.245. Tokala long goes up to 400 spine, and the price of one of these shafts is 9 euro 45 cents, which is fine by me when I get here 36 inch arrows out of it. So that's 35. These are now 35, 35 inch arrows out of it. And that's quite good. <coughs> FOC I measured everywhere, so they are just fine. They're all between, what's the minimum, 14 and 18 percent. So that's completely fine by me. And Peter did a nice job in fletching them. He made a whipping around here and a whipping around here for, for shaft protection. You know, sometimes it's good to have here something around your carbon shaft that they don't split up and here he has the protection hoodies on it. I don't know, are these thingies dirty? Look at this, I put them in the hay bale and they come out dirty. That's not a nice thing. So, but without further ado, let's shoot them. And of course, as long as I have it, I shoot the new Keshik. So we start with the 600 spine. I may be a little too lightweight, but you know, it's my Keshik. I can do it with my Keshik, what I want. 30, oh, 33 inches. And they are, what I heard of these Tonkala, they are very durable. So when you go on a 3D tour, a 3D parkour, and something there, so they don't break that easily. And they fly nice. Holla, holla, die Wolfie. <laughs> so, nice. Now we have the 500 spine, a little heavier. Coach knocks knock properly. And look, the color, huh? red, white, matches my Keshik. And regarding the video I did about this Keshik, 
Guys, I shot five Keshix or six Keshix different ones in my life. Different poundages all over the place. None of them felt like this one. That's why it's not the difference because this one has a little different poundage. It's a different bow. These arrows are nice. And the 35 inch ones we shoot, of course, with my new Chonkoro. The review will be out very soon. I want to wear my Manchu dress for it, so that's why it takes a little. And we shoot now the 400 spine 35 inch arrows with the Chonkoro and with my nice thumb ring. Oh, so now we have shallow hook. So. Almost too lightweight, but 600, that uh, 530, 630 should be fine. Oh yeah, now now we're talking. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. nice. I feel a little handshake with these arrows, a little too lightweight. Chonkoro, look at this, look at this. So, look, look at the handle, look. The 600 with the Keshik and with, of course, the thumb ring from Bamboo Archery. Did you see that? Huh? And even I can shoot properly. So straight. That's nice. I like it. These arrows are good. So invest in arrows, guys. Yeah, it was a little wobbly, you saw that one? Yeah. So then we shoot the 500 and a little complainy, maybe the Koch knocks. They are really, they come out easy. So you hit the target and pit, the knocks fly away. So this is the only thing you need to take care of this. I don't know how you want to do it, but you have to in one way or the other. So they are, they come off too easy. Only be aware of that. The MNOX from Bermel, they fit properly. So let's see the 500 spine. And I like everything is written there so you can read everything nice. And it's written big enough so I can read it without glasses. Yes, really nice. Look how they fly. 500 spine, huh? Yep, gotcha. Oh, that was a little wobbly, but there was a release. Really nice. <laughs> For my Shonkoro, when they're 35 or 36 inches long, I wouldn't mind having the 300 spine, but they are now 400. Because you know, the longer they get, the weaker they get. So the thumb ring is a little white today, huh? Oh, that was a bad shot. Because my thumb ring is too loose today. Hola. And I already put a leather strap in it, so make it a little more tight, but it's not enough today. Shonkoro is not performing well today with these arrows, so he needs heavier arrows. You see that? So, and this is what I mean with the Koch knocks. The one came off again when I shot it, so I had to look for it. They are just not... They would need something at the end here, some small dots, and then, you know, that you really have to push them in. But they just, they don't work that nice. So, take care. 600 again. Ah, a bit wobble. Yeah, oh, but 
Das ist ein Schutt. Wobbelpatient ist schon. Nice. So, now watch out for the knocks. And they, of course, they knock quite hard. And when you shoot, of course, they can come off. So this is simply, simply how it is. So either you make your knocks a little wider then, or you put some something small between the shaft and the knock. Or you don't want to say it's super glue because then you can't remove them anymore. 500 spine. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's really worth investing in good arrows, guys. And here one shaft is not even 10 euros, so... I don't know what comes with the shaft, if you get already an insert or something, but just simply check on the website, I leave the link in the description. It's really nasty. The long ones with the Keshik. Ooh, they're too long, too heavy. So with these ones, I still have my problems. They are, I think, for how long they are, a little too weak. They should be 300 spine. But you get there eventually. What will happen is that your shafts get a little dirty, or the feathers, but that's normal, I guess, but white arrows are just alike. You see them flying, especially in the videos, it's nice. The m work pretty well with these shafts, so they are really stiff on it. The 600 already flew nice with my Keshik, so I like that. The 500 flew nice too, but you see, I lost two now in the hay bale. The arrow went completely in the hay bale and this sim simply got lost in the hebel. So the coach knocks are just not tight enough. So you need to do something. If you want to use the coach knocks on these shafts, you need to do something. Either you open the, the knock a little that it doesn't knock that hard, but still when they land in a target easily. So you need to reinforce this in a way. And the long ones, they are for me a little not stiff enough, but the heaviest are are the 400 right now so i hope that they will make them in 300 or 250 because we need a little more the longer they get the weaker they get you know that the dynamic spine is then drops quite significantly so these ones for a lighter bow but the chonkoro is already too heavy for it so i can't use them with a chonkoro but nonetheless they are really good arrows and they are really material wise. You feel the difference from other arrows I have. They, they have this, they sound already different. So this 3K carbon has its benefits. And of course, if you put then a hoodie on front then they don't break up here and the reinforcement on the back. So you're really safe with them and you can abuse them. 630 grain should be just fine for the Shonkoro, but it felt like dry firing somehow. But with the Shonkoro, I have to do a video and I tell you why I think that it will happen. I have a little complaint about the Shonkoro. Yeah, I have. And that's all I have for you today. So one shaft is nine euro something. Nine, what did I say? Nine euro 45? Yeah, so 9.50. So it's not even 10 euros for a shaft. I think it's fully worth it for the performance you get with these arrows. So they really, really fly good. So if you're up for some carbon arrows and you like white and longer than 32 inches, 32 we got them already, but now you can have 33, 35 inches. Worth checking out. And Nijora, Herr Schüssler, made it extra for us because we asked them. So he produced them now for us that we have longer shafts. But Herr Schüssler, we need them in a stiffer spine. And that's all I have for you today. So thank you very much Nijora for sending these arrows and thank you very much Peter for making these pretty arrows for me so we could test them. And I thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next one.